welcome to Tools in Action. Today we're going over something very cool, especially for you guys that do, um, you know, diagnostics for electricians, troubleshooting problems. You really, it's like having a seventh sense. Does that make sense? A seventh sense. Say that. Six. No. How many senses are there? Five. Are you serious? Yeah, right. Uh, Wait, is there how many senses? Five, there's five how many senses, senses right? are there? You have taste, you have one, two, three, four, and five is feel. So it'd be six cents. Yeah, okay, six cents. I was just thinking because that movie or something. Is there a movie, The Sixth Sense? It threw yeah. me off. Yeah, five. five. Okay, okay, everybody says five. All right, you guys, so basically this is going to be your six cents. Basically, it's going to allow you to look at everything via temperature. Now, we've done this in the past. We did the FLIR um, TG165, yep. which was the handheld. That was an imaging thermometer, you guys. The difference here is this is a full capable thermal imager. It's called the C2, it's camera sized, and basically it allows you to just troubleshoot. It has what's called uh, FLIRS MSX technology, which basically does an overlay, I'm showing you right now, overlays everything, allows you to see exactly what you're shooting. What's this so thing funny? is badass, I'm serious. It I, is I badass. love this thing. It's pocket size, it's cool, the quality of it is awesome. It's lightweight, and guys, I mean, you can see, I mean, it's, it's cool. Yeah, I'm firing it up right now. It takes a few minutes to fire up, and since it is a full thermal imager, it does calibrate. What's the price point on this, something like this? Price point on this, I believe, is around five ninety nine, six ninety nine, dollars wow. 99 which okay, is that's really entry huge, level. Man. Yeah. But that's huge compared to the Milwaukee and some of the other ones we've yeah. seen. Yeah, yeah. Big time. Not only that, you guys, it also has uh, USB connectivity. That's how you charge it. And you plug it into a computer, and basically you can run reports. I'm nice. showing you a report okay, right cool. now that we did on Eric's butt. Nice. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but really cool stuff, you guys. Look at that. And the image quality on there is awesome. I'm You've seen other ones you. where you can't really you can see blobs. This you actually see every every single thing. On like there. there's Eric, you see. guys. So you can you see, see every that. single thing on there. So you can tell the TV is hot. Can you see like my ring on my finger? Like how it's a different. Uh, no, it probably is the same as your body heat. Okay. But I see that camera up in the upper left there heating up. But we're going to give you a quick rundown on this, you guys. But it's really cool. Now, that being said, there's one thing I don't really like about it. I mean, it What's is that? nice and camera-y. But I'm right-handed, and I kind of always want to hold it like this. And I feel that it's designed to be held. Like, it's just, it's kind of messed up. Oh, because up. that's the... Yeah. So when you button. hold it like that, that's how you want to hold it, right? Well, your thumb is going across the touch screen there not that and you kind of hit it or whatever you okay. know there should be a thumb point right there so i could just be easier to do that other than that it's really awesome and i would like to have seen a tripod mount in the bottom oh yeah okay you know right, those yeah. are the only two things that i can complain about this thing other than that it's awesome if you're in the market for any kind of thermal imager definitely check out the c2 what kind of features does it have on it eric um i'm gonna take a picture right now of all the camera equipment and stuff not only that, you guys, it has a built-in digital camera, so it'll give you a side-by-side -side of here's what it looks like in normal view, here's what it looks like in MSX mode. And that's cool, I like that. So it's three-inch touchscreen with auto orientation, measures temperature from zero or negative 10 Celsius to 150 Celsius. That's man, that's a big range. Captures radiometric JPEGs for analysis. MSX thermal okay. images. Alright, that's about it. No, MSX technology, you guys. Um, real cool. Uh, this is cool as heck, man. Yeah. I mean, you really don't understand. My, is it waterproof? Uh, I don't believe so, no. It's, I don't even think it's IP proof. It looked like it is, but I wouldn't put it in water. Okay, it's got a built-in LED flash also, or a flashlight. You could turn it on if you need be. It's got different modes right on the screen. You guys can change it from iron, rainbow, black and white. Black and white is really good for night vision, you guys. This thing sees in the dark like you wouldn't believe. Um, it's just an amazing piece of equipment. And I know that, you know, Flare came out with the Flare 1, I think it was called. It was goes that? on an iPhone. Oh, okay, yeah. The only problem is that, is that, you know, you have to have the iPhone 5. If you don't have the iPhone 5, yep. you're having, you know... And for I, 600 bucks, man, if you're in the business, that's a steal. Yeah, six or 700, I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, if you're in the business, especially an estimator, it's in your pocket. I just had a roof leak the other day, 
And, yeah, uh, you told me about that. Man, I just whipped this thing out. I just saw the blue line all the way to where the leak came into the house. I mean, it saved me a ton of money in calling a real contractor out. Um, problems, you know, go through your house. Hey, this thing's heating up a little more than it should be. You know, what's going on here? Oh, and, it's even great in wintertime or something like that. You can see where all your uh, heat's escaping yeah, from, you know? Exactly. Oh, I need a seal around this door or this window's got a bad seal or whatever. It's really amazing what you can view and perceive when you start seeing stuff temperature-wise, you guys. Yeah. Definitely a huge fan of Flare. Flare's been around forever, you know. You see the police helicopters, stuff like that. They all use Flare. Oh, I seriously? Yeah. Oh, wow. I love it. Flare Fire Department. Don't you guys use Flare? I don't know what we got on ours. Yeah, because Flare... I have to look. I don't even know the... Flare is just synonymous with high-end um, imaging technology, okay? So it's great to see them coming down to the affordable price range of contractors, consumers, stuff like yes. that. Yes, very um, cool. You know, but can't say enough about it, you guys. Check it out. I'll show you some cool stuff we overlaid. I'll show you at the end here. Um, right on the top here, it's just got this big button. So anywhere you click, you're going to be able to take that picture or whatnot. It's pretty snappy, pretty fast. You don't have to wait a lot, a long time. But like I said, it is a full thermal imager versus being a imaging thermometer. Okay. So it does calibrate, okay? Um, so once in a while you'll just get calibration, but it's nothing like the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee takes a while to calibrate. This one it, seemed like it was quick. Like yeah. it just calibrated, come up, and then it was ready to go. Half a it second, was like, yeah. something like that. All right, you guys, let us know what you guys think about Flare, what you think about the C2, and what you think about thermal imaging all together. Or what do you guys want to see? Maybe we'll do it in Tool Talk. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll show you some cool stuff, thermal imaging. Um, that's about it. Sounds good. Tools in action. Check it out. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.